Hey guys, Mr. PF. I'm going to show you guys how to do some smithing and maybe some other simple tasks with utilizing the ghost mouse clicking program and also utilizing one of my boxes. The box is for the clicking and the ghost mouse is just purely for the movement. So you're going to want it for best recording options. Turn off the mouse, the mouse clicking just so you don't record any unnecessary clicks. Um, you want to also make sure you hover over the item long enough after it clicks otherwise it can get off of the program and it just doesn't work out very well so you're going to have to mess with it a little bit depending on what task you're going to do so I'm just going to make some bronze plate bodies real quick to show you guys exactly what I mean so to start out just go ahead and put the mouse cursor over the start recording and turn the box on. It could be fast or slow depending on what task you're doing. I'm going to use slow because it works out perfectly to create a whole inventory of plate bodies. So here's how you do it. Turn the box on and you wait for the box to click to start recording. So now that it's recording I'm going to hover over the bronze bars and wait for it to click again. Now I'm going to wait an additional couple seconds just for the randomization and I'm going to move it over to the anvil so the next click clicks the anvil. <clears throat> As you can see I'm not clicking the box is doing it. And so the software is just recording the movements it's not recording the clicking. The box just clicks within a certain value of every click so now I'm going to go over to the plate bodies and hover over the plate bodies and no two clicks it will click the same and so if you record the movement long enough I don't think you should get banned and so I'm going to go ahead and try to push this account to 99 and I'll keep you guys informed on how it works out for me if I get banned or not and I'm also going to be trying some other tags like mining, fishing, all kinds of things I'm going to see what it can do I've already done some agility and that works out pretty well too it just takes some fiddling around with it. You'll probably spend a half hour, maybe even an hour to get the auto clicking set up right. But once you get it going and once you figure out exactly what you need to do, it's pretty simple. And so now I'm just going to go back over to the play button. So when it clicks it again, it will repeat the program. And I'm just going to record it one time for you guys. I'm not going to sit here for like 20 minutes and keep recording it we you know I think you guys can get the idea here and so now that it's done a whole loop I'm gonna go ahead and just pause it I'm gonna turn the box off so now that it has that recorded what I'm gonna do turn the box on and now it will click play and now that the software's playing now it's hovering over it as you can see I'm not clicking anything and the box is just clicking by itself. It's still doing the same randomized clicking, picking between a couple values, and it randomizes it like three times every click. So there you go, you see it just withdrew. And now the software is gonna just move over to the anvil, and it's gonna hover. And then the box is gonna get ready to click again. I mean, it's very basic. But if you got the, the pattern down, if you sat here for an hour or two and recorded it, I don't think anybody would ever be able to pick up on it. As you can see, I'm not doing nothing. The box is doing all the clicking. The software recording is just moving the mouse. And people might say, yeah, well, aren't they going to pick up on the temporary or on the, the repetitive of the mouse? And they might. But like I said, if you record the mouse for about an hour and the clicking is completely randomized, so it just adds that extra little layer of security. If, you know, you're botting an account that's maybe, you know, has a couple 99s or something already in an account that you don't want to lose. So this is a pretty basic, you know, people already know about how to use the ghost clicker, but this is just a way of randomizing it even further. <coughs> So as you can see, pretty basic. And now it's going to repeat itself again. As you can see, I'm not doing anything. The script's going to finish. The box is going to click. And it's going to restart the script all over again. 
just like that. So, just also want to mention, I'm doing the 500 subscriber giveaway at 500 subscribers. I'm going to be giving away this pyramid box that I'm building. I'm going to put custom LEDs in it. It's going to be pretty sweet. As you can see, it's just doing its thing. It's like clockwork. So I'm probably also going to do some other videos on some tutorials for you guys. And I also got some videos on some 3D printing, some gearboxes I've made, and also some PS3 custom or some PS3 and some PS4 3D printing and custom case mods that I've done. So stay tuned for that. Like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more videos. I'm also going to be building an automated machine that can play the game itself. <clears throat> I have a couple different ideas. One of them might actually utilize a color recognition camera. I haven't really quite decided on that yet. But stay tuned for more. Please subscribe. If you want to win this box. If you want to do things like this. Like I said, I'm going to be doing updates. I'm going to push this account as far as I can. I'm going to try to get it all the way to 99 smithing by using this method only. Thanks for watching.